Hey, this is Nick Offer from Chick 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 here, and you're on Kudawea. Every band is trying to make their own thriller, you know, and, um, you know, so people ask us if we're really into Michael Jackson this time. Was, no, we're always into Michael Jackson, you know, he's been an influence on every record. This is the only time we felt like it was actually a thriller, and, you know, we always try to, like, you know, the, you know, the strokes, this is it, is the, like, indie thriller, or, you know, the George Michael Faith is the, the white man's thriller, or, you know, so we just make these jokes, like, okay, what's this one, what's Fleetwood Mac Rumors, that's the original thriller, you know, it's just a joke we passed around, so. So, and, you know, of course, in, inevitably, it was like, well, are we making our thriller? So, I felt like, yeah, fuck it, you know. If we thought it was funny, we thought other people would think it was funny, too. Uh, you know, we, I think we kind of tried to, to 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 let the music guide the lyrics more and to guide the colors uh, of it more. You know, I, I keep saying that the, the the biggest lyrical influences on this record were the Beatles and Prince, in that I, I, I felt like their songs always felt like a very like complete art. You know, like why does you know I am the Walrus sounds like I'm the Walrus, and the sonics of it sound like that. You know, and you know. With, with Prince, like, you know, Ballad of Dorothy Parker, it, it, like, those lyrics fit inside that sonic space and they create that world. So there was, there was just a bit of that with, you know, with, uh, uh, like, as, as soon as the, the first lyrics that would come, come to me, even if that seemed like a strange thing to write a song about, then I would go with that, you know. I get frustrated with him. He's very old. You know, I mean, actually there's some songs I just heard off of a record he did in 2010. That song, Sticky Like Glue, is a great song. I don't know, I mean, I haven't listened to the new Bowie either. I, you know, I'm not rushing to. I don't know what musicians should do. I really don't. You know, and I'm gr glad that's, it's like I was saying about David Bowie, it's like, I'm not gonna listen to that record, but I'm glad he made it. You know, I'm glad that he's still doing it, you know? And I understand why he does, you know? It's like, I mean, I don't know what I'm gonna do when I start making sucky records. I'm not gonna, I don't, I don't, I don't wanna stop. You know, it's very fun to make records, you know? It's like, a, you're dreaming, you're still a dreamer, you know? I would hate to have to give up that, you know? So I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> I mean, in Prince, I'm still glad he's playing live. I mean, he's still, you know, he's better than anyone, you know? I'd still go to I still go to see the shows, you know. We have, we've always wanted to make it funkier, you know. So we all we've always wanted to, you know, we've always just wanted to sound blacker, you know. And you know, that's we're always just going towards that. Um, and we always just wanted to find more original sounds. So, and also it's like it can't sound like disco punk anymore. It's like nobody wants a disco punk record now. You know, it's like that sound is very it's old. You know, so there's just like there was a definite like just push to find something else. You know, I would have no problem uh, working on a level 42 like song. You know, I mean, there's a bit of a you know sometimes it's like when you copy something too exactly, it get, comes out a bit. You know, like so usually I I mean I I feel like most of the songs on this record were written with like the idea of like you know we started with a level 42 type idea, but then we brought in like a, we wanted to add Nirvana or Bauhaus to it or something, you know, like something very different, you know, I wouldn't want to like mix Level 42 with Scritti Politti, you know, that would, it wouldn't sound different, you know, it'd just sound like the 80s, you know, it'd be boring. We felt like after the last record with it was the exclamation marks were, were in ice, you know, and maybe this was like a bit of a release, you know, a bit of a breakthrough, you know, it was, last record we were frozen, it was, it was a cold record, you know, and this, this record, you know, it felt, it felt like, you know, with the first song with just the crack of the snare and you're in. That's like almost the... And you're in, you know? So it just felt like it worked with the first song and what it was, what it, it was about and just the whole going for it of the record. You know? I mean, I, th I think we came up with something different, you know? And it just was a, it was a very, like, we really just felt like we needed to go for it. There was a real push, there was a lot of drive during this record. 
it's really, I don't know, I guess the weirdest thing in my ear was probably the, hearing the, of the death of a friend. It was just like, whoa, you know, like you want to just look at the phone, like what? You know? I'll just say, I'll just go with that. News of the death of a friend.